CNN, before you get to Cinco de Mayo, may the 4th be with you. It's that time again when Star Wars aficionados, read geeks, celebrate one of their favorite days of the year. Of course it's a takeoff of the famous May the Force Be With You line from the 1977 film that spawned a massive franchise. Now known as Star Wars Day, it's just one of the many pop culture holidays you don't want to miss out on. Some others include, Galentine's Day we can thank Amy Poehler for this one. Her character Leslie Nope from the TV series Parks and Recreation had the brilliant idea to celebrate good girlfriends the day before Valentine's Day. Or as she says uteruses before deuteruses. Whacking Day on May 10th the citizens of Springfield, the fictitious town on The Simpsons, drove snakes into the center of town to whack them to death. The tradition started with the founding of the town. Lisa Simpson deplored the tradition her father, Homer, loved. No snakes were harmed in the writing of this item. Harry Potter's birthday everyone's favorite wizard celebrates his special day, as do his admirers, on July 31st. The character shares the birthday of his creator, author J.K. Rowling, whose books sparked a movie franchise, play and a ton of merchandise. Mean Girls Day on October 3rd we wear pink. That's the day celebrated by Mean Girls fans, thanks to a now famous scene in the popular 2004 film in which Aaron Samuels, played by Jonathan Bennett, turns to Katie Heron, Lindsay Lohan, in class and asks her what day it is. Her response. It's October 3rd. And thus an unofficial holiday was born. Festivus it really is for the rest of us. This alternative to the commercialization of the Christmas season has been a thing since being featured in a 1997 episode of the comedy series Seinfeld. The show set the date as December 23rd, but in keeping with the tradition of not keeping traditions, any time during December is apparently appropriate to celebrate. 